All right, so Chaos Arthur, we have already made the initial showcase, but now we're gonna have a, a, a go at UR gear here. We have HP defense with uh, pretty good stuff, as you can see. And Arthur is a HP scaler, kind of. <laughs> he does have a part of his passive. Let me, let, me, let me hop in. So this is him I'm using to start. If you've already watched the uh, previous video, you're gonna have a different team than the one I've used already, so you have a, you know, a better viewing time in the beginning, especially. Uh, already starting with Yuri instead. Don't worry, I'm actually probably gonna do two teams in this video. There's two teams I have in mind, but Yuri is the one I wanna see most, so... Let me actually not mess up and take a look here again, so... Arthur, once he gets the four stacks on his head, so... If you don't know yet, to get the four stacks, you gotta get ult gauge for your allies. We've talked about how that can be a problem, but until that happens, I'll, I'll wait. And next turn, we're gonna have the Chaos, is it called Chaos Domination? Now, once Chaos Domination starts, you have taunt for like the whole match. And you get extra 30% max HP, each other stack of Call of Chaos you get, which is the four stacks we have on his head right now, you get another 5% max HP. And for each... <laughs> you do... <laughs> you do extra damage by 25% of the max HP. So I'm assuming it just means like raw HP. Right now we have 640,000. Bond's also giving us HP. And we're gonna attack with Bond first, which is gonna increase our HP. A little bit because of Zelda's passive and also an extra stack and this should hit very hard here with Arthur with his AoE. Let's see. Oh, I should have actually done the Arthur single target. I don't know why I did. Yeah, like, like for a level one that's very good. I don't know why I did. Okay, that's fine. Still killed, but it would have been better off doing the Arthur single target. I I think in the mo a lot of people are gonna only watch towards like the beginning of the Arthur showcase and like the whole thing, which is normal, right? Most people don't finish YouTube videos, whatever video it is, right? But towards the end is when I started realizing like, I see what they're going for here. Arthur needs to get set up and after he gets set up, he just has taunt the whole game. It's not like, Melee, right? Where he does the one attack and he loses the attack buff. Arthur has taunt from then on. Because you have two turns of taunt. And you can... And you hit super hard. And you can... Like, reapply the taunt every turn. As long as you get four ult gauge on your, on your team, which is not asking too much. So, I'm thinking right now, obviously we're playing PvP right now, but... That has, like, major PvE implications, right? Like, legit, any PvE activity I can think of would not <laughs> be a problem for him to just continuously have his, uh, his whole thing going on. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Maybe this. Ah. Uh... Tira Star Building, like, right? He's not gonna take that much damage. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I have a problem with uh, with unknowns here. Facing unknowns with humans is still very annoying because you don't have cleanse. Like, Arthur cleanses two debuffs once he has the four stacks and the next turn starts, but like, if you're facing hell, and you do an AoE. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. What? Oh, that was level 2. Okay. There's quite a lot of debuffs. It's quite a bit more than 2. Mm. I venture to guess is going to kill Tier. And then... Okay, right here. I should have done uh, level 2 debuff. Level 2 attack on Hell. Level 1 AoE. But I legit thought... That the true AoEs was gonna like fully wipe. Like, except you can't wipe Zahard because he has immortality, but like, I legit, I, I fought that. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's not our first fault what's about to happen. We double kill her. We lose a ton of HP. Okay, we s Oh, we're not gonna double kill her! <gasps> no! We lost a ton of HP. Because Yuri died by that one shot. So we lost 5% from Arthur, and then we lost from Bon as well. Uh, yeah, I think facing unknown is still not gonna be great for humans because of the <laughs> the debuffing limitation. Also, Yuri being completely worthless last match was not very epic. It's a very specific situation because the only time she is going to be worthless is if someone can one-shot you. And I think the only character <laughs> that can really do that is Zahard. Because... Any other character would have been attack lowered, and it would have been lowered by Zaldrus, and at that point they can't really just one-shot you, but Zahard, getting lucky for level 2 single target in the first turn, uh, is a uh, one that could one-shot you. How many hits I do on Askinar? Uh... Okay. So we have the taunt now. <laughs> it's funny because like... <laughs> now of all times, I actually would like to have... Uh, Roxy or... Easton, which I'm not using right now because I don't have to and I'm using Zelda's, which is an objectively better character. But... Yeah, I, I wouldn't even have to worry about <laughs> killing the Faradrin if I had one of those other characters, right? Arthur, I'm trusting. Like, he has a plus 50% max HP. I'm trusting he will tank the DK single targets, no problem. Okay. His defense for his stats are also pretty decent. I guess I could uh, take a, a look at them right now as well. This is what I'm talking about, right? I have four stacks. And, I mean, even if you don't get another four stacks in the following turn, getting the, the taunt, you can just get three, and then the next one you get one, then you reapply the thing. Here. Yeah, very good crit defense and crit resistance. This is getting some uh, from Yuri, but even without the buff, you can tell it's very good. I'm just gonna do this. Surprise doesn't kill Demon King. Maybe that would look better with attack. It's just, the way I'm thinking is, you know, he does get that scale with HP, so it's like objectively speaking, he's gonna be better with HP defense. Like, no matter if he would hit a bit harder with attack, you're getting more HP, so you're tanking better. You're a better, like, taunt character for from having the extra HP, right? And definitely, like, okay, if he could get that taunt immediately, as soon as he gets four stacks, it would have been impossible to play the game against him. So, uh, yeah, getting the turn after is uh, understandable. It's like, I really want to like this character, but... And I, I've been, you know, giving all reasons why he is very good. Forgot to pay attention to the links there. I am very concerned about Melly Mon Speeds. Are you kidding me? I thought it was a bot, because the connection is perfect. I guess it's been... I'm very surprised about bot, because the connection is perfect and he has a Japanese name. He might be just posing as a, a Japanese person who actually lives in Europe. So the peer to peer is actually pretty good. Any case. The problem with humans here is living the first turn. After you live the first turn, I think you're so well set up with Arthur. It's like after that, I find it pretty difficult to lose. We'll see here. Let's, let's see if we lose here. 
So we're gonna just go for the AoE, kill the end because she's taunting, and then kill Melee. That's the idea here, but let's see if it works in execution. Broke the shield, seal Tarmia Link. Kill the end, will kill Melee. Like, what is the counterplay he could have done? Tell me, what is the counterplay? <laughs> <laughs> there is none. This is why I'm, th I'm thinking two things, right? Humans don't need Askenor anymore for damage. Like, you don't need to run Askenor anymore. But at the same time, it's like, Askenor's CC would be nice here because you want to go first. It is a go first character. Arthur is a go first character for sure. Because unlike, let's say, Demon King, where his passive starts as soon as you get in the match, and then the, the, the clock starts ticking, and the, the countdown starts, right? Already, a turn has elapsed for him. So going second with DK is objectively better, because you're going to get his passive faster, right? You're going to get his ultimate goal faster. The ultimate goal of Arthur is gained faster by going first. That is the ultimate difference here. I don't know why I said ultimate mode many times, but there is the big difference here. Between a character that wants to go second, or can go second, or a character that really wants to go first, and ideally, you really you really only want to use him by going first. So... That definitely is something that a lot of people are not going to like. I've already seen a lot of people say that. But, you know, <clears throat> it is... Definitely in waves where we get characters that are meant to go second and some characters are meant to go first. We, we all the time. Okay, I was about to say, don't die, he just disintegrate. <laughs> Is that Asterosa's death animation? I don't think so. I think I just, I think he just bugged. Yeah, because like, you know, you look at like Demon King, Hell, Tear. More characters I'm not thinking right now have released as meta-defining characters that could very well go second. But some characters are meant to go first, right? I like I like that better than No way. I swore Arthur would have killed. But it's fine because my goat Yuri sealed his ultimate. I like that better than every character being meant to go first, or every character being meant to go second. Because then you're competing for one thing that you might not be able to do, right? You might not be able to go first. Or in my case, I might not be able to go second, <laughs> which is a separate issue, right? It's a different issue. Uh, so I don't see anything wrong with Arthur being a character that wants to go first better than going second. Because of that, you know, given and get that we get with characters like that. Some festivals do and some festivals don't. And uh, very helpful, Arthur has the highest CC in the game. Higher than the new Meliodas. So, that doesn't tell you something. They want you to go first with this guy. I don't want to use Arthur cards in the first turn. It, it feels wasteful. Because he hits so hard once he gets his passive. They're like, why would I waste this? So it's better to combine them. I'm still waiting to face a Monspeak Link Melee, but for now we're gonna enjoy not. But he... He scares me. Arthur scares me. I think tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and try to record a video with him. And I'm gonna get Zaw hearted. As in... I'm gonna start facing people with Monspeed Link, and I'm gonna have to play different. And then, all of a sudden, Arthur is not really so fun to play with. And that's what happened to Zahard. Because of Melee's stupid, like, design choice to allow him to use any commitment, like, it's cool that he can do that. Like, it brings back life into some of these commitments that we haven't seen in years, which is fine. But, like, it has actively made Zahard unfun to play. Now, not so much. <clears throat> but Zahard's banner is gone now. So if you saw everyone saying Zahard was, like, super bad to play with because of the Asterosa Commandment, 
and now less people like there's still people running it but like it's not as frequent now you could run Zahard without you know having those issues as much but like now the banner's gone so if you didn't summon them <laughs> you're never gonna get them probably are we ever gonna get another tower of god collab maybe it's probably cheap for them but still so i think i have to explain myself before hopping in this is the team they used to showcase arthur in the japanese official live stream let's see how good it is now the only change i made to the team is that i swapped Askenor's link i'm sorry but <laughs> i do not see a legit plausible to run or sorry to run yeah my sentence was correct. To run Askenor without Murder Link. Like, we need the crits here to come through so that we can actually do, like, a ton of damage. And... Ar Arthur doesn't give you any, like, reliable increase in crit chance. Or at all. He doesn't give any crit chance at all. So, you know, Askenor <laughs> without Murder Link is not reliable. Like, he's not critting... He's not critting melee very often, you know? In my here and there, because I think he does have more crit chance than melee has core resistance, but it's not not happening too often. Oh, Roxy's dead. Oh, he already taunted. Okay, I didn't see the taunt. Uh, we took away melee in the first turn, though. That's definitely something. And how much attack do we have? 25,000 with four set Way less HP. So I wonder how much that's going to change in terms of our damage. Yeah, the AoE hit for way less. Yeah, you can tell the difference. As soon as he gets the uh, his stuff going, the difference between having and not having, you know, Ban and Zeldris is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, I think it's a, a no-brainer that you definitely want to run him with Ban. Bond just does too much. He just does too much for you to not run him with Bond. I guess we do have a Bond, but you know. This Bond does give us a uh, crit chance. Well, I didn't even use Askador, which I, I was just talking about how I needed to run him, you know, with Myrtle Link instead. Didn't even get to use him during the match. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have the card set that increases attack to 9%, I believe. So I think I'm just going to do the same thing, but this time we can actually triple attack. I think I'm going for it. Who has Tarmia Link? Not you. I'm just going to go for it. Triple attack with Roxy. Roxy hits hard, dude. And with the extra 15% attack Arthur is giving her, I mean, you can see the results for yourself, right? Is she going to kill here? No. She hits very hard. I mean, was it ideal to break everyone's shield? Maybe not. Because no, they all have attack really a stab buff. But I think, like... I don't care if Escanor dies here. Like, I don't care if Roxy dies. So long as Arthur survives after this first turn, I think... Like, we're good. She got one-shotted without attack buff? Okay, when I meant, I don't care if they- I meant individually. Both dying is not ideal, because then I only have two attacks. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's not good. You gotta, you gotta get a kill in the first turn. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna pop my Roxy cards. Now, I should have targeted one and gone for the kill with Askin. Okay, uh, Tarmia Link is gonna need to do some heavy lifting here. We do have Tarmin, like we got the extra HP, but he's still gonna lower us, right? Okay, big Tarm, big Tarm. We got... We got our thing still, so if we just double AoE, it's over. And we gave him more HP every time we attack, because uh, every time we get an ult gauge from using a card, we get 5% HP, so that's more damage. 
Now, if, if you want to run this scene, which honestly I don't recommend, I think I think you you really want to use Anniversary Bond. If you want to run this team, oh, and you don't have like a light character. Light characters make a difference. Light and dark characters being on your team will give you like an extra buff. Like a passive damage reduction or damage increase that just wouldn't be there otherwise. Yeah. Okay. So let's try doing that. Uh, I need to get the extra ult gauge from combining cards. Do we... I keep forgetting to pay attention to that. Uh, let's not do that, actually. Let's do the Roxy card, because it, it will easily break. And then hope that's going to crits. Then we get the extra damage from Roxy as well. That doesn't kill. Really? Ascular didn't kill there? I guess he didn't have any stacks, right, from his passive. I mean, he had one from, you know, the beginning of the match. But... By Askener. Wow, that, that AoE doing this much damage should tell you that this team is garbage. <laughs> like, dude, when was the last time you saw a AoE as weak as that doing that much damage? <clears throat> Let's, uh... This will kill King. And then it, the a other AoE kills uh, Melly for sure. So I make sure at least I kill two at least here. Yep. And this kills Melly. Because like if I attack Bond and I don't kill him, which I probably would have, but I don't kill him, then I would have been disabled. And maybe I wouldn't kill Melly with the AoE then, because I would have lost the flood i would not have lost the damage increase based on hp at that point because uh that's a passive and passives don't get disabled by the tarmel link debuff only car effects do uh after arthur gets it going like he's unstoppable that's the thing he really is Except that one time where uh, he didn't kill, <laughs> he didn't kill the the hell with the two AOEs, but like, you know, except that one time. Oh, you know, I just thought about how crazy this Arthur is gonna be on the Demon King fight. Him, what's her face, Kizuna? Sorry, I just I just noticed the. Uh, Little girl there. He's from Eve, so he's not he's not trolling. Go second team for Arthur, confirm. Let's see what happens here. See, unless he kills my Arthur, which I find that highly improbable. Uh I he I won. Like what can he do? Because he went second. Ma maybe because the two flames he could kill my Arthur? No, he's not even going for it. Like, like after after Arthur gets it going, it's over though. And he's not killing my Arthur. Yeah. Like what what can he do against this? I'm gonna see what's Tarmia Link. And then yeah. Just... I'll show attack to Askner, because I'm gonna disable in case I don't kill, but Okay, I should have attacked to Askner. Cause now his Arthur also got it. But Never mind. You gotta get it first. Like, you can't go second with Arthur. You can't go second with Arthur. <laughs> you gotta get the thing first. Uh, I'll play like two more matches and then I'll, I'll wrap this up. Let me know what teams you guys wanna see with Arthur. I definitely will be trying a ton of stuff. I. There's a bunch of humans who have released over time who have never got a real chance in the meta because humans were not runnable. Really? And when they became runnable, it was sort of like a, like a tight, you know, margin of characters that could be run in that specific category, right? So, I think with Arthur, if you run Arthur, Bon, Zaldra's in the back, that third slot can be much more varied than we've ever had for humans. So I can probably run Eren, Levi, Shin, 
Blue Shin, remember him? He came out like not that long ago, but you probably forgot about him. <laughs> Blue Shin is gonna go crazy, dude. You're gonna get so much attack buff. Uh, let's do this. See, like, I don't think Askinor. Not that he's bad, but like, I don't think he provides enough to be worthy of being in Bond's place, you know? Because the way I see it is, yeah, we are using Roxy, Askinor, Arthur. One of them is taking Bond's spot, and I think it's Askinor. Because I'm forced to run a character I don't want to run in the back because of Askinor. And that character just so happens to also be a Bond, so... It's so unfortunate because, like, you think, man, or I thought, I won human, you know, buffs. Because, for one, I want to run Askinor. But then humans do get the buffs, and it's like, Askinor's flaws are still shining through because uh, humans got a front unit. And what Askinor needs is a back unit. What can you do? What can you do? You know, I, I, I actually, I, I'm not playing on it. I, I'll finish with this one. The next match is probably going to be the same. This team is Shoe Glass Cannon. So, JP stream, good job showing me the. If you put enough time into uh, testing units, you can still come out wrong. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> 